it's not always easy to you know start a company and okay. find people to work it but also finding that money to fund it, get it going. So small business investors look toward people like Jerry Harmon, who is with part of, well, is with the chair elect That's with right. the uh, Small Business Investors Alliance. And so she joins us here today. Thank you very much. Welcome. For thank you. Welcome. Th thank you for joining us. And tell us a little bit about the business that you're with and the Small Business Investors Alliance. Alliance. Thank you. It's yeah. a mouthful, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> really. Absolutely. SBI. SBIA. <laughs> That's the way I say it. it's easier. Um, well, first of all, I'm the managing partner and CEO of a, a fund called Avanti Mezzanine Partners. So we are a private equity debt and debt fund that provides capital to smaller businesses, what we call lower middle market businesses throughout the country, but we're based right here in Los Angeles County. Um, so thankfully, some of our money stays here in California. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, I am also chair elect of the Small Business Investor Alliance (SBIA), which is the national association, largely representing smaller private equity funds as well as SBIC, small business investment companies. Now, the small business investment companies are a partnership with the government, the Small Business Administration (SBA). Mm -hmm. right. um, the SBA supports and has for decades. Uh, the private equity community through this SBIC program where they provide capital to small funds like ourselves along with other investors and we in turn take that capital and provide it to smaller businesses hopefully creating jobs which mm -hmm. is why the government's a partnership with us. Now, I know uh, Congresswoman Judy Chu has been advocating supporting small businesses and women and minority owned businesses uh, you testified in front of Congress, correct, in regards yeah. to these matters? Yeah, I testified first time, very exciting. Uh, testified in front of local members of the Small Business Committee uh, of the U.S. House con in Congress. So, that, very exciting. That, and that's Congressman Chu yeah. is, you know, was leading that effort. And as Congresswoman Chu mentioned, I'm also the chair of the Board of Governors of the SBIA, Small Business Investor Alliance. And I'm here on their behalf. SBIA is the primary voice of the lower middle market private equity industry, including small business investment companies or SBICs. But let me start by telling you a little bit about my firm, Avanti Investing. So tell us a little bit about these loans and how you're dispersing them or how they're supporting our economy and, and how people can access them. I know that's a huge mouthful of a ton of questions all at the same time, but just right. share with us how the process works. Right. Well. First of all, this program has been, you know, the SBIC program has been in effect for, like as I mentioned, decades. And um, there's th 300 SBICs around the country investing in these smaller businesses. Some of these SBICs are investing in kind of late stage companies are just getting going. Most of us are providing capital. Those businesses have been around for a while but need capital taking that next level, you know, mm -hmm. to make an acquisition, to grow, to affect a liquidity event as we call it, or a buyout. Um, and we partner with other private equity funds around the country to make that happen. Um, if you look at, I think there's been, those 300 SBICs have close to 27 billion dollars mm -hmm. of assets under management um, that have, you know are continuing to make investments. Our fund, for example, is over 460 million. We have two funds that aggregate 460 plus million, and we're investing anywhere from 5 million to 25 million in these companies. And and are we? Um, gearing more toward helping the uh, young female minority business own owners? Uh, interesting question. Right. Um, first of all, one of the things that makes us a little bit unique and why I enjoy talking and I'm passionate about this topic is we're one of the few. You are. Yeah, we're one of the few <laughs> majority women owned and led private equity mezzanine funds in the country. Um, doesn't necessarily make us better. I like to think we are, but it does make us different. Um, so one of the things we were, I was testifying about is diversity and access to capital. So there really is not enough capital going to women and minority owned businesses or entrepreneurs uh, anywhere. And that's been a problem for a long time. It's really this, you know, the capital gap, gender gap, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, part of the problem, there's many things that can uh, you know, lead to that or, or causes for that of that. But one of the big issues is you don't have enough representation of women and minority private equity funds. You know, who are owned. You know, where you have senior partners making decisions, who are women and minorities. 
um, it's kind of a natural link to think that if more women and minorities were had the capital themselves, like our fund, we in turn would be more inclusive in how we think about putting our money out. Clearly, it has to be qualified. You know, the entrepreneur has to have the right strategy and team and financial profile. Right. As, as anyone. As any, right. any, any firm. Yeah. And that's true. When we get our capital and have to go to our investors, we have to prove that we're the right vehicle for them to invest in. But all, you still want to be inclusive. Right. So yeah. how does someone access, how do they get a hold of you to go through one of those plans or the idea that they may be able to borrow that money? Right. Well, you, they can go to the SBA website to look at all SBICs that are that's public information around the country. Um, they could, every specific fund, including Avanti Mesny Partners, has a website. You can Google there us. There you go. Um, yeah. and, but there's lots of great SBIC funds around. And there's also other small private equity funds and debt funds that are not SBICs that are still focused on lending money or investing right. money in companies. Well, right. Jerry, I, I appreciate you being here and sharing all this information with us. Uh, we're two small business owners ourselves. Yeah. Great. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's great. good. Thank you.